Sorry about that. Haven't done this in quite a while. Okay. I had to go spelunking for that cable, guys. It was like... <laughs> It's supposed to be sitting right up here, and instead it was somewhere else. Uh, let's see. You're at work watching me? Nice. Good call. Always uh, watch me instead of work. I'm far more entertaining. Your phone's being a dipshit. Your phone's always being a dipshit, dude. <laughs> I pronounce Bjorn better than some of my some of your fellow Belgians. Oh, nice. I don't know where I learned to say that name, but I'm glad that I do it well. <laughs> You're here to support your friend. What's up, man? I don't know who you are, but apparently you're my friend, so thank you for that. I appreciate you being here. Uh, anyways. Resident Evil Village. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Now, apparently this demo is really, really short, but also really scary. Like, effectively scary. Happy New Year, Red Wookiee. I'm doing all right, man. How are you doing? I do know you. You're going to you're going to keep the mystery alive though, aren't you? You're going to make me try and figure out who you are. <laughs> okay. Let's see. English, English. Subtitles generally we want on and just leave that as default. I think right about there is probably good. This one stays visible on like the entire spectrum. What the hell? Uh, let's put it right about there. How many of these do we have to do? Just till the picture on the left disappears. Say right around there. <sighs> Can you collect my information? No. Let's see what we got under options. Probably most of the same shit we just did. Um, unfortunately, this monitor does not support HDR, so I have to leave that off because it's like. 12 years old. <laughs> Lights off, popcorn ready. Nice. Okay, yeah, this is all good. Let's start. Escape the dungeon. I'm gonna turn this way up for me. Volume is very low. So this game is supposed to be a direct sequel to Resident Evil 7. And it already feels a lot like it, for sure. What the fuck? If I don't touch the controller at all, my character looks up. It's not right. an unused toilet. It's good. Let's keep it that way. Crouch and stand. Okay. Oh, looky what I found. Ew. Ew! That's so disgusting. But, you know, at least we have something for dinner if we're here too long. Holy shit. This gate's open for some reason. Hmm. This is a proper dungeon, guys. <laughs> There's some shit down here. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. Um, yeah, my plan was to play some RE4 right after this. I don't know how long I'll go for. Because I got kind of a later start than I wanted. 
But yeah, we'll play at least, you know, one or two chapters. Probably depends on how long this takes. I've heard that this demo is only like 20 minutes long. But I can probably stretch it out a little longer than that, don't you think? <laughs> this needs some kind of other item. Okay. <clears throat> the uh, looking around controls feel weird. Like, uh, like the sticks are off-center. I don't like it. I don't know if it's just my controller or what. Why is this blood black? Didn't... Yo, didn't... Uh... Oh man, I'm like forgetting everything from Resident Evil 7 now. Uh, shit. What? The, the girl's name, the little girl who was like the main antagonist. Didn't she have black blood in Resident Evil 7? You can't watch live because it keeps loading? I'm sorry, man. Is anybody else having issues with the stream? It looks healthy on my end. Appears we need a key to use that. Oh god. This is a medieval torture implementation. I can't remember what this thing's called. This thing has a proper name, though. What's your guys' favorite medieval torture? I was always a fan of the pair. We got the bolt cutters. A tool for cutting chains. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So the pear is this large pear-shaped object that, uh... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> uh, there's It's a large pear-shaped object that they would insert into either your rectum or your vagina, if you had a vagina, and then they would press a button and the pear shape would just open up like that. It's really, really, really fucked up. I learned about it when I was, like, really young, and I've never forgotten about it, because I'm like, man, people suck. <laughs> people really, really suck. Iron Bull is nasty. What's the Iron Bull? Oh, we got a lockpick. Okay. Right about now is the time where we would, like, run into a monster, right? I'm, like, half expecting something to start chasing me around. Yep. I hear shit. Okay! Dude. There's another chain to cut here. Let's do it. Okay. Well, at least this guy can't chase us. <laughs> Unless he grows some extra limbs. Gross. Okay, let's get out of here. Actually, strangely makes me feel better. Having a source of light and some fire. I'll set a bitch on fire.
Iron Bull is a large hollow bull made out of iron or copper. A person goes in, bull is moved over a fire or coals. You roast inside and the steam from your body goes out the bull's nose. So it looks like it's about to breathe fire. Wow. That's simultaneously like metal as hell and just depraved as hell. Gonna have to watch the replay on YouTube. <laughs> Give you a goodbye hello for later when you watch this. I'm sorry to hear that you're having so much trouble, Disco Biscuits, but I appreciate you stopping by anyway, man. Um, hello from YouTube, and I hope you enjoy the archive. Hmm. Who's making that noise? Somebody down there. Dance Macabre. Dance, dance Macabre, probably. I don't know. This stinks so bad. Yeah, every Resident Evil game has to have rotten food somewhere. I just figured out how to quick turn. That's handy. I mean, graphically, this game's pretty amazing already. Got some really great lighting. Pretty much what we've come to expect from Capcom in their AAA Resident Evil releases. Oh, hello. Okay. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. Never trust a woman when she says she won't bite. She lies. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little... afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Seems like an... Uh, inappropriate response. And at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it. Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Sounds like they have the same kind of mentality as the enemies from Resident Evil 7. Now, the whole cause of all the bullshit in that game was like some military experiment gone wrong, if I remember correctly, right? So what's going to be their excuse for this one? Because it seems like a very similar kind of deal. Did the military, like, continue with their bullshit? Oh, that's bullshit. The mirror's obscured. I want to see myself. From what I've heard, we are playing as Ethan in this game. A necklace. It's a messed up necklace, man. Uh, you know, Ethan being the main protagonist from Resident Evil 7. And I'm pretty sure at the end of that game, we did get to see his face briefly, didn't we? So it shouldn't really be a mystery anymore. What do I think about an RE game with Ada Wong as the main character? I'd be all for that. Ada's a badass. I mean, she had the whole um, separate ways thing in Resident Evil 4, and that was a lot of fun. And I guess you got to play as her in the RE2 remake as well, didn't you? For a little bit, at least. I think I'm out of the dungeon. Look how 
fancy this place is. Jesus. Dude, there's just... Okay, we got the suits of armor. We got the suits of armor, guys. So... There's a lot of people who think that this game takes place in the same area that Resident Evil 4 does. And it's because of shit like this. This big, elaborate, fancy castle, suits of armor everywhere. The merchant's coming back in this game, although it's, it's a different merchant. It's not the same guy. I'm not convinced yet. I don't think it's going to be really the same place as Resident Evil 4. Because I remember when they first unveiled this game, they showed some of the inventory stuff and we got to see the money. And the money was not Pesetas. I can't remember what it actually was. It might have been like Lyra or something like that. But the money indicated that it was like a totally different region. Now, they could have just changed that to throw people off the scent. But who could say for sure, you know? Necklace of Animal Bones used to ward away evil. Taken from me when I was thrown in that dungeon. Oh, so I, I own this thing? One eye is just an empty socket. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there is stuff like this, like, everywhere. Just constant references... It's Resident Evil 4, it feels like. Uh, you know, anybody who knows that game knows about finding the eye to place in the eye socket. Um, there was some other stuff. The suits of armor, obviously. The merchant. Um, in that trailer they showed off a couple weeks, or not, a couple days ago, rather. There was something else. I, I'm drawing a blank now. But yeah, it just it feels like they're going out of their way to throw a lot of references to Resident Evil 4 into this game, which I'm okay with. I guess we got to go downstairs. You finally got it working, Andy? That's good. You don't scare me. Laughing all creepily. I've been through worse than you. These are like the clothes I'm wearing. Okay. Candidates. Irina, Michaela... And Lois? <laughs> Rejects. Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camilla, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Lyubmila, Rosalinda, Lena, Stefana, Gabriella. Well, shit. Sure looks pretty. Yeah, I agree. Praise be for EA having Star Wars taken away from them. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Although I hope that that doesn't mess up any opportunities we had for a sequel to Fallen Order. Because that was one of the few EA Star Wars games I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. I would like to see a sequel to this. A fleshed out sequel. Huh. So many doors, guys. Let's try this one first. Nope. Yeah, that was definitely blood. Somebody was drinking blood. Does that mean that we're dealing with vampires here? Because I get strong Buffy vibes just seeing blood in a mug like that. A vampire just chilling out. Sipping their blood. Fallen Order was from the Titanfall makers. And just published by EA. Yeah, I think you're correct about that. But I don't know what, you know, switching publishers means for any games that were in development. Because if the publisher is not cool with whatever they were working on, they're going to scrap it, you know? Am I going to do this as an LP? Um, I mean, assuming I'm still making content when it comes out, then yeah, probably. 
but I'm not making any promises about anything these days, as you're aware. It's very, very cold outside. trying to like recognize some of these areas and say like oh this is definitely from Resident Evil 4 like remember this room but I haven't seen anything that's like an exact replica yet at least not that I've noticed oh look at this maroon eye ring that's gonna go up top I bet Ubisoft making an open world Star Wars game and possibly KOTOR 3 I heard about that KOTOR 3 would be cool. I didn't love the KOTOR games from a gameplay perspective, but they were really well-made games. I, uh... I really like the story and the atmosphere that they made. So I would play a KOTOR 3, probably. Assuming that they, you know, improved the mechanics and everything. Okay, so we took out the maroon eye. Looks like they're in Wisconsin. <laughs> Could be, man. Although I kind of doubt it. I don't think we're in the U.S. Yeah, okay, let's take this eye upstairs. If I could express one hope for this game, though, guys, I really, really hope... Shit. Who is that? Let's see if we can catch him. Hey, come back. Does this eye belong to you? You probably want... Uh, eh, he's gone. Um, I hope that this game doesn't do the thing where, like, a giant unkillable enemy stalks you for half the game. Kind of tired of that in my Resident Evil games. <laughs> Because, like, the last three games that they put out have had that. And I'm just like, just you know, I just want to kill some enemies. Let me kill some vampires and werewolves. Please. Courtyard key. Okay, that's probably for downstairs. Barf Lone Star, what's up? You're here to see mommy milkers. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any mommy milkers to show you. But, um, yeah. I can offer you Resident Evil. That's about the most I got right now. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Al Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanguis Virginis, meaning maiden blood. Maiden's blood it is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Okay, so we're supposed to look for that. Oh, the big vampire lady. Gotcha. Well, we haven't run into her yet. Hey, Nicholas Kills 300. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, for a second, I thought that you were from this other streamer that I follow called Brogan because she talks about mommy milkers occasionally. I don't know why, it's just a thing she does. <laughs> and when you said mommy milkers, I was like, oh, this is somebody from Brogan's camp just fucking with me right now. Boom Shakabaku, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Is this all we got in here? Okay. I'm running. I'm watching you. What? <laughs> God damn it. She's watching us, guys. Uh, let me out, please. Mr. Kurz91, thank you for the follow. I appreciate all the follows, guys. Thank you. I won't last until Fucking bitch. Ah! There she is. I found her! <laughs> I 
found the mommy milkers. Ah! Ah! How's it feel? Not great. Is she okay? She's still there. <laughs> Use the fucking thing. There's the real mommy milkers. <laughs> Damn, yo. Seriously, what all the fuss is about? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for playing our visual showcase. That's what they're calling this, a visual showcase? Okay. That's, well, I guess that's it, guys. That was short and sweet, for sure. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what I've been seeing a lot in reference to her? I don't know why, but <laughs> um, at least on Twitter, people seem to have a real obsession with having that lady step on their necks. <laughs> it's like this whole thing. They share images of her and they're like, please, please step on me. And I'm like, I didn't realize so many people had that fetish. And I would never judge somebody's fetish as long as it's, you know, consensual and safe and all that shit. But I'm just like, man, that's why, why does that lady bring that out specifically. I think it's because she's so tall. I think it has something to do with it. The gifts are immaculate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, is so people familiar with the demo, like, is that it? Is there any other content we can find in there? Or you just, you just get to that point and you, and you die and that's it. Is that it? Is that, are we good? Giant stuff is a thing apparently. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. All the fetish is coming out. Everybody's horny on main. You know, especially with the way the last year has gone, you got to be horny somewhere. So you might as well do it on main, you know. Me, I'm corny on main. <laughs> Get it? So yeah, that was short and sweet. But uh, I guess... I guess we're good. 